Tubers, family and friends. Absolutely gorgeous day this day in northwestern Mindanao, Philippines. The Golden Palace. John's taking his morning swim and I'm just enjoying the morning, having my morning drink, which is lemons. Lemon pieces in water. That's my morning drink now. I, I'm off of coffee. I've been off of coffee for a couple years now. And I absolutely love it. I'm not on any kind of poisoning of any kind. Uh, sugar. I'm 90, 90 some percent off of sugar now. That's probably one of the biggest poisons out there. That and alcohol. I'm 98% off of alcohol. Once in a great while, I'll have a beer. Uh, and like one. I try not to ever have more than one if I ever do have one. And uh, I'm trying to completely get off of that too. So there's so many things that we don't even think about that end up poisoning our bodies. Just complete poison. And nutrition, people don't think of it. Oh, I'll just have a piece of bread or something. You know, it's bread's ze almost zero nutrition. Grains and all that, there's no nutrition involved with it. That's why I'm on, I'm on uh, a carnivore keto diet. And I've lost like 25, 30 pounds over the last few months. And I'm maintaining right about at 200 pounds now. And I was... 230 right around around in that area and uh, anyways it's a, it's a lifestyle change you just got to get the poisons out but the what I want to talk about this morning with you all and one thing I absolutely love about the Philippines is about insurance I mean I'm American from the United States and a lot of people are just absolutely brainwashed into thinking that they absolutely have to have insurance for everything. Well, one of the reasons for that is because the government, the tyrannical government in the US forces people to have insurance on a house uh, and for medical and for their vehicle or their cars, or personal mode of transportation, whatever you have. There's insurance for everything, and it's a forced deal in the U.S. And here in the Philippines, I don't waste any of my money on any insurance. Big goose egg. Zero. Absolute zero cost of insurance in the Philippines. It's not required, and if you want to get it, you can, but it's ridiculous because you're paying criminal and that's what these organizations are just like bankers or the pharmaceutical industry whatever you want to call it they're all taking money from your pocket and they're doing it in a way that's detrimental to not only your financial situation but in your spiritual situation because all this insurance what does it do it puts all your trust for life with these evil people taking your money all your trust is going to them so mentally you're saying oh i have insurance oh i have insurance so i'm gonna be okay what does that do that takes that makes you completely mind dependent on these criminals instead of where the trust should be which is with who with jesus christ that's where all your trust should be no matter what you know, I used to struggle with this in my earlier days. It says, oh, sure, you should trust in God, but you, you also need to use your brain and have insurance to protect yourself. No, that's all, you know, a lie. It's a big, huge lie, just like the majority of lies that are going on uh, from the government and the bankers and insurance industry and the pharmaceutical companies, and it goes on and on. And a lot of people are waking up to that now, and... So I, I feel very grateful that God showed me that when you put your trust in, in all these other things like insurance, you're betraying God and you're letting evil 
uh, control your mind and your soul except other than God. So you need to get away from all that. Get out of it. Right? Completely get out of the system. The tyrannical system that has you trapped. Right? And that's what, what I've done. I don't have medical insurance. I don't have automobile insurance. I don't have homeowner's insurance. Zero. I don't have life insurance. All that I've given to God. And Jesus is the one I trust now. Completely Jesus. In every way. And I save thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars a year because of that decision. And and it says in the Bible, God takes care of the birds and the animals. Why wouldn't he take care of you? I mean, it's so no-brainer. But so many people are brainwashed into thinking, oh, I have to have insurance. You know. Also, if you have medical insurance, the hospitals here aren't going to take it anyways. They only work on cash here, cash basis. Everything, 80% of everything is cash in the Philippines. Yes, if you're in these, some of these big cities, you can use a credit card, different businesses, but not all businesses. So, you know, I rarely ever use a credit card. Uh, most of the time I, I have one credit card and I use that for, you know, automatic payments like for my Starlink internet and uh, my my uh, American US based phone that I have right stuff like that so that's like you know and Netflix and you know stuff like that just tiny things so you know that's a, like 150 bucks a month so that anyways I just want to let you guys know really think about it and go to prayer with that because it's a huge betrayal to God and to Jesus Christ when you are trusting in all these other things for your life and your family and you aren't trusting in Jesus. Jesus will care for you. He will guide you. Just get in prayer. Pray, pray. I'm starting to get into way more prayer now than I ever have. Because there's, you know, there's so many deceptions in the earth today it's unbelievable the deceptions that that satan has at his disposal to pull people away from god and toward evil i mean it's it's unbelievable the list goes on and on you see it you see it your every day right uh so just think about that and go to prayer with it that's a huge part of your life it'll really change your life if you just trust in Christ Jesus and get away from the system so anyways I, I'll pr probably post another couple videos today but I just want to let you guys know about that what I've done in my life and that uh, I ask you to just go to prayer with it you know I had a, I was dreaming last night about I should tell the people about about how I trust Christ and I don't trust insurance companies anymore so anyways i love you guys take care and god bless bye-bye